subscribe, uh, that'd be great. Just wanted to get in today about Ben Hogan's arm and elbow action. Okay, there's uh, some, I think, mistakes being made on how to copy it and do it, or what you know what you're seeing is not you know maybe exactly uh, as you should view it. And by that I mean, as Ben is coming down, the elbow is starting to move down uh, and close to the body, right? So it's like where where does it end up? Where should it be? when I get down into halfway down, uh, roughly when the hands are about belt high, okay? Where should these parts be? Now, a guy like Dustin Johnson and some of the tour players do it different than Ben. Ben, ben had the arms back behind the body here to the right side and would come in and use his hips, pushing the hips while the arms are to the side, moving around like this to that beautiful pivot. A guy like Dustin Johnson is deep. He's got this called a pitch elbow like pitching this way, the elbow's really leading almost to the center line. Um, there's a bunch of tour players that are doing that out there, but that's a completely different model than, than the Hogan swing. Now, this is complicated. The modern swing, if you will, is this rotating hip action like this, where the arm's swirling and the shallowing and the elbow in front. And that's very tough on the spine, okay? Uh, Hogan played through automobile, you know, that bus accident with his automobile and injuries like that. And he's come back to win major tournaments and play great golf into his 70s, was still hitting the ball nice. So um, this twisting and torquing of the body of the modern swing, which is a squatty unwind with the spinning hips, the right hips high, it's moving out. And then you've got to bend your spine back this way. You've got to tuck the elbow in. Man, that is tough sledding right there. Okay, now when you're younger, you can kind of bend your spine and get away with it, but not as easy and uh, as safe as just a nice, simple Hogan-esque type move, which is getting the arms down in the slot, moving your hips uh, laterally, which is to the target, while getting the arms just to uh, lower themselves into the ball. So that would be down the plane. And you've seen me in some of my videos talk about that down the plane. It's just where the golf ball is. I've got my club pointed somewhere down here on the plane, bottom of the plane line there. And then as I start to get my body out of the way, that's a big secret there. As I get my body out of the way like Hogan, that transfer would take the hips that were a little bit high on this side because the legs straightened to something that we're now the left hip is getting higher than the right hip. That's key. That makes room for the arms to slot, okay? Now, should the elbow have some space? Uh, definitely has some space here, but as Hogan was coming down, you could see these sharp angles like this, okay? And it was almost like he was chasing, chasing the hips with the elbow. He wasn't um, stopping the hips to rotate and straighten that left leg because that's gonna cast the club out and around. And that's more of the modern-esque type deal when you're spinning the hips, that's a rotational action, which is gonna send the club out there. You have to counter that with a bunch of side bend. And so this one here I love because the Hogan model, the, the arms are going down the plane. So the plane is this way, the arms are, the triangle of the arms is sliding down the plane like that. The elbow's coming to the side, but the side is always moving. You see, so I'm coming in to the ball while I continue to move my right hip forward, up and around. And no time am I trying to straighten the leg and move that hip inside of this ankle. Hip should always be on the outside of the ankle, all the way into impact for sure and beyond. And then it'll, when you swivel around, it'll start to come back a little bit. So that, that, those are big pieces right there to comprehend. It's like, oh, okay, well, I've been trying to get my hands down in front of me. That's not what Hogan did. The elbow is not in front of the rib cage, okay? It's to the side of the rib cage, okay? So you wanna practice down this way, but you also wanna look at this concave look of the body this way, where I'm getting my mid body, hips, mid body, torso, feet, mid, and I'm moving that midline this way, which is straightening this leg taller. So now this leg's extended, which puts me 
in the right side bend, okay? So just a few components like that so you get to understand it. Now, you could chip some balls just trying to do this, and I like to really just see my club fall down the plane. My body's getting, mid-body's out of the way and allowing my arms just to slide down. There's a nice little soft chip. I can visualize the arms and shaft sliding down the incline plane to the bottom of the plane line. Bottom of the plane, Hogan's glass plane. And I'll put a photo in here of Hogan's uh, glass plane so you can see it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do the five lessons book, chapter by chapter with videos in there and post it on my Masters of the Game site. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Now that probably looked very easy, and it was actually, because it all flows together. There's no, there's no modern swing, twisting, dumping. It's all like, oh, arms went up and they go down. They're going down on a diagonal, which is the plane angle, right, to the, to the ball. But my body's flowing out of the way, then it kind of catches the arm swing on the, on the impact and through. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys about, all right? So Masters of the Game is uh, a website where I've got the Masters, like Hogan, doing videos and doing the book that he did and putting my insights and making videos and showing his swing. Also, Mac O'Grady in the Morat system. Got videos of him teaching me, and I'm giving you my insights with Mac and all these different uh, ideas for good, consistent ball striking, the golfing machine, and uh, all kinds of things. So my golf lessons with my students where I'm putting in the golfing machine, a little stack and tilt and such. So I think you really love it. Um, it's a, a great site, and it's only going to grow. We're going to put the community in there at the beginning of the year, and that's going to be uh, where I'm going to have guest speakers come in. Uh, such as Mark Sweeney of Aimpoint Golf.